Are you ready to go? Let me serve first. We'll play our points, okay? That's that old flat backhand, right? Yeah. You hit it so straight, you gotta add a little bit of height on there. Right. Aim, I want the backhand I would aim about this high over the net. Okay. Just be a little bit more vertical here. Don't go so straight across like this. Go, go, go. Don't give up though, keep going for it. I would like you to get it off of two bounces. Two bounces? Yeah. Just go for it anyway. Yeah, go for it anyway. Okay. Like even when you know you can't get it, continue to go. So when you're that far off the court, you need height to get the ball in, okay. the number one. But also, it gives you a little bit more time to get back to the middle. Yep. So even if you would have made that, there's a likelihood that I would have hit a winner there. So right, right. you lift the ball even higher over the net when you're that far off the court. I want you to never go for this okay. unless you really have to. When it's truly an emergency shot, that shot will come out on its own. Okay. But I felt like you bailed out on that shot a little too early. I think I did. Attempt to hit the forehand when you can. This will be something that will come out completely by itself as the last ditch effort to get the ball over the net. Actually, as the only way to get the ball back over the net because there's going to be certain shots where you can't hit them. Yeah. But you have to have the intention to always hit it. Great shot, Alec. Nice. Come on, Alec. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on. All right, good try. Be a little bit more alert back there on the return. I feel like you're a little too nonchalant, okay? Yeah. More intensity on the return. Maybe a little bit lower. Be on your toes. And be ready to react super quickly. You got a little bit jammed on that one. You overran it slightly. Remember, when you're running fast towards the ball, you do have to settle yourself. You have to hit the brakes a little bit before getting to it, or you're gonna overrun it and jam yourself. Yeah. Okay, some balls are truly gonna be hit on the run where there's no time to slow down. Right. You have to hit it on the sprint. You have plenty of time to come in there and just do those stutter steps. You know what I'm talking about? Where you yep. go like, pop, pop, those little adjustment yeah. steps. This is where you're hitting the brakes, you're readjusting, you're positioning yourself properly when you're on the run, okay? okay. Great shot, Alec. I was about to yell at you for being too much in the middle. But I still stick to it. Yeah. Generally, don't leave so much space open there. Yeah, that was a lucky shot. If I, I hit my, so yeah, you got to stretch. And also, I didn't serve that fast. If I serve hard, it's going to be tough for you to cover that side because the trajectory of the ball, when somebody's serving from the left side, yeah. meaning towards the deuce side, the trajectory is rightward. Yep. And for that reason, you have to protect the alley because the ball will shoot out this way where you can leave the tee a little bit more open. Okay. So you can't stand right in the middle between the singles line and the middle of the court. You have to stand closer to the doubles alley. <laughs> yes, cross court. A little bit of a shank, not much. <laughs> Good. Don't get beaten by a cheap shot. You hit a fantastic deep return. And I got a little pickup shot back there and I beat you with the I ultimate <laughs> cheap shot. I didn't commit to it. Well, you have to be yeah. ready for the next shot. Yeah. Don't relax, don't like admire your ball. Right. Don't lose your intensity. Be ready for the yeah. cheap shot. Because that's what's naturally going to happen a lot of times that when, the stronger you hit, yeah. the weaker, the uglier the ball is going to come back and you have to be ready for that. Sometimes that ugliness is going to be happening close to the net. And if you're not ready, you might get beaten by something like that. I let my guard down. I thought it was going long and it came in. Your backhand. I, yeah, my backhand. I thought it went long and so I like let up exactly what you're saying. I'm so glad you bring that up yeah. because you play the next ball anyway. Yes. Now, a lot of people do that. They're looking at their shot and it's like, oh, is it going to go in? Is it going to go out? Yeah. Then it goes in and they're standing there completely frozen. So Hesitated. you pretend it's going to go in, you keep playing. And if it's out, so be it. Go, Alec. go, 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 go. I like it. You were there, man. I like that. Here comes second serves, okay? Oh, 
That is too heavy for me, Alec. I tried to do my one-handed backhand and I can't. I'm not good enough on the one hand that, to handle something like that. Yeah, I wanted more height over the net like you're saying. That was, just low. That was wicked spin, my Thank friend. You. Very heavy. Yeah. Nice. Try again, same shot, come. Go. Way better. See, you make the guy volley. Don't go for the outright passing shot winner. True. Let the guy hit a volley. A lot of guys will struggle at the net. Yeah. They have improper volley technique. Too good. Play it. Oh, you hang in there good though. I hit a couple of harder shots and you were holding your ground back there. Why'd you do that, man? Bailout shot. Out, I guess. That's a bailout shot, my friend. I get, a... get a drink. Go ahead. <laughs> I like that so clean, man. Nice. Beautiful touch. Overcooked it, man. Remember the golden rule I talked to you about this previously. When the ball is below the level of the net or below your waist and you're close to the net, you can't go for a winner. More shape. More shape. Yeah. Take about 50% off and place it. Good try. Okay, okay. You got it, Alec. Nice. Keep the left arm extended a little bit longer, Alec. I mean the right arm, sorry. Yeah, the right arm. You're dropping a little too quick. I know I bend it like this. Yes. Keep it up a little bit longer. It's a little better. More like you're here and then right away you're going in here. Keep it up here. Yeah, so your cartwheel is going to get affected by that. Oh, okay. You won't get as much of a tilt, so keep it up there just a tad longer, okay? The right arm fully extended. Okay, now go first serve. Go flat. That is humongous. Thanks. 127. What do you think? Like 115. 115? Yeah. All right, now let's play some points on your serve now. Okay. It was such a thin shot, you hit it like this almost. But you somehow maneuvered it into the corner. This time the, Huge serve, the, though. Thank you. But let me tell you one thing. You don't have to rush here. Yeah. Don't panic. Let yeah. the ball come down a little bit. Take your time. I panicked. I came in way faster than I thought I was You going overran to. it again. Yeah. You hit the brakes okay. and settle yourself a little bit. See, it's apparent now that you, this is why I keep giving you a lot of these balls close to the net because that's a weak area in your game. Yeah. It's the short game. I agree. So next time you come here, let's do a whole session on working on the short game, the half-court game. 
whether it's stationary, whether it's in transition, you're uncomfortable up here. That's true. You're comfortable from the baseline, but here you're making a lot of unforced errors. Yeah. So there you simply didn't recognize the ball fast enough. Yeah. You got in there too late and you tried to shovel it back and play. It was too late. Yeah. It was too low. Alec, yes! Very nice. You didn't kill it. You rolled it with a lot of feel yeah. into a good location. Very nice. Sure. Go slice out wide. Okay. I didn't see you attempt to hit one of those. How come? As a lefty, it's a shame that yeah. you don't utilize the slice serve. You understand the advantage you have? Because you as a lefty, you want to give us a slice to the backhand, which you don't see too much. We don't see a slice to the backhand right. from righties. We see a slice to the forehand. So you have a huge advantage that you have to utilize. Yeah. Think of John McEnroe, Goran Ivanishevich, G for J, all the great left-handed servers, Greg Rusetsky. They hit a lot of slice serves. Yep. You like to go flat bomb and you like to go kick on the second, but you kind of ignore your slice. Yeah, it is a weapon. Go again. That was a good one that you hit there. I would hit like 50% slice on this side. What about on the, uh, the deuce side? I would go down the T slice. Maybe because it's the T, it's low percentage, so I wouldn't maybe go half of the time, I'll go 25% of the time. But this is a high percentage target yeah. out wide. I would go half of the time there. And even if you become predictable, think of Rafa. What does Rafa do? He hits a slice serve there 90% of the time. Yep. And even the great Federer couldn't do anything. With the, one of the greatest backhands of all time, he knew it was coming to his backhand. Right. And still there's only so much you can do. Yeah. If the ball is coming with some good speed, good placement, with Side spin, there's not much you can do as a right-hander. That is absolutely nasty right there, but it was a little bit wide. Go again. Oh, that is the killer slice. I'm telling you, if you utilize this serve, you're going to be holding serve much easier. This is something that I tell to every lefty. You have to have a slice serve. It's a shame if you don't. In addition to that, you have to continue to work on your transition game. Okay. This is where you are missing a lot of balls. You're not only like not ready for it at times and not recognizing it, but also when you recognize it, you tend to overrun it and have the wrong shot selection and so on. Yep, I agree. It's a very common problem area though, yep. at all recreational levels. So don't worry about that. Return to serve requires a little bit more intensity, a little better positioning. Okay. But other than that, you're playing well, man. Okay. You're doing good. Yeah. We'll keep working hard, okay? Thank you.